again. I'm Bye. like, hey. <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna be using like, alternative tools. Yeah, I'm like, how do I say this? To do our eyeliner. So we've been seeing a lot of um, tutorials on Instagram, on YouTube, with um, people using a bobby pin. How do you use a bobby pin, you to ask? To do the cool winged eyeliner. Um, and Nikki Tutorials just did a tutorial using the floss, floss? like the individual floss, like the um, sharp edge to it. Which is really sharp, by the way. I know. Um, Ani and I are not professional makeup artists, as you guys know. So we're going to be testing. And these girls make it all look so easy. So easy. So Ani and I, who are normal girls who love makeup, yep. um, are going to be testing this out and trying to see if us people, normal people, could, could actually do it. Could actually do it. And we'll do one eye with a bobby pin and one eye with floss. Yeah, and we're both so going to be crazy. doing it. So it's like, OK, uh, if we both get the bobby pin right, that means, all right, all right it's an easy. Are you can probably do the bobby pin. Yeah. So <gasps> we'll do, which one should we do? Right, we'll do bobby pin. Left, we'll do floss. Woo! Yay! All right, I'm going to start with the bobby pin. It looks pretty easy. Um, I'm going to apply the liquid eyeliner basically on the two edges. Okay. Oh, there you go, you guys. I got it. Nailed it. Okay, so far this works. Let's see. Basically what you have to do. Look, it's a wing liner and I have to fill in. the insides you guys it works basically all I did is use the open-ended part the V and I applied eyeliner liquid eyeliner there and just stamped it on my eye and it gave me kind of the out like the outline of a wing liner which is the hardest part because I always go like crazy and it's awesome because I feel like it'll be equal if you do both eyes like that versus my cat my cat's always in the wrong direction one's going that way one's going down and I can never have them like meet together <laughs> so Thumbs up to uh, the bobby pin. On the right eye, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on this bobby pin. And I'm gonna put it on my eye. Okay. It definitely gives you like a guideline. And now I'm gonna try Nikki Tutorials' method with the floss. Apply the eyeliner to the tip. Again, you have to use liquid eyeliner and this one actually fills in the gap. Let's see. Stabbing the eye, stabbing the eye. All right. It wasn't as fantastic as the bobby pin. This is what you get. So I still have to fill it in. It actually turned out to be a more, more subtle cat eye, I want to say. All right, I voted. I vote on the bobby pin being a thumbs up and the floss being a thumbs down. The bobby pin definitely gives you like that dramatic, like, look at my cat eye eyeliner, um, which I kind of like. So I am going to be now trying the floss on the other eye. And let's see how we're going to do this. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to put eyeliner on the floss. And... I kind of don't even have to fill it in. It kind of works for me. 
Bobby pin, bobby pin, bobby pin. <laughs> I like the way that my eyeliner came out more. Um, with I actually the like gloss. the bobby pin. It's a little dramatic, the bobby pin one, but the chances of stabbing yourself in the eye are pretty high with a floss. So for safety reasons alone, I'm gonna go with the bobby pin. I like the way um, how it looks so professional, the bobby pin method. Yeah. Like the the floss one looks like I you went in blind and you're just hoping for the best. That's like, how it usually is. Yeah, it's <laughs> like if the other one was crooked, you know, like it doesn't look fantastic. All that right. one looks like a true cat eye where you're like, damn girl, how'd you do your cat eye? So save the floss for flossing. Yeah, it's the bobby <laughs> pin secret. <laughs> if you try it, let us know how it comes out for you in the comments Yay, below. I found a new guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.